Patriots Ag Report. So this week we have uh, exciting news about uh, the pumpkin hatch, second uh, annual pumpkin patch. So uh, joining us today is uh, Lee Calvert. Um, last year, just uh, overwhelming uh, uh, response of, uh, yep. of good things, good comments, families coming out, uh, doing doing what families do, taking pictures, uh, socializing, getting getting pumpkins uh, all you know in our local community uh, with the pumpkin hatch. So uh, tell us, uh, it's crisp weather. Uh, you know, we talked about you've got your long sleeves on there today. Yeah. Um, and I know if you're from the north bear with us when it gets below 60 we get cold here in texas and we get our, our coats on and uh so tell us about uh the the pumpkin hatch coming up uh, what what have you got planned uh, location that kind of stuff all right so uh we, we're going to be at the same location and uh and uh, ashley ford has uh agreed to help me out again this year uh, she helped coordinate a lot last year this is this was uh her idea and like, you know, like th th this, the way it was uh, originated to me was they wanted a family event. They wanted a family event that was local and we tried to keep it free other than buying a pumpkin. Um, then you, when, you didn't have to buy a pumpkin to come out and take pictures either. So uh, we're gonna have photographers again this year. We're, we've got the same, the petting zoo was real popular last year. So we've got the petting zoo coming back. And we're actually, I, I, I think, I don't know if it's happened yet, but we're trying to get her to come back two times. Or two different uh, time frames, uh, so that and uh, so that was real popular last year. I've already had a lot of people asking about it online. You know, about are we going to have it again this year? Yes, we are. So, right, the pumpkins and should start arriving pretty soon. Now, uh, last year, I know you sourced those from from a friend uh, that you had met that raises yeah. pumpkins in Texas. Uh, right. Will they be coming again from some Texas farms? Texas farm uh, in Floydata, Texas, uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a family run farm. The Pyle family runs it. And uh, so I've gotten to know a lot of pumpkin people after I did that. So I've been, uh, I've been trying to develop sources from a lot of different places and meet the people. And it's been really a, a neat experience. Good deal. Now, uh, will it again this year, uh, you know, everybody thinks of the orange, you know, jack-o'-lantern in there, but you had a lot of uh, unique uh, pumpkins, uh, white ones and green ones and funny shapes and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and, and we'll have an assortment available uh, from the beginning uh, this time. Those are real popular, but were not available last time. I don't know if you remember, but uh, it was flooding when uh, <laughs> some of those pumpkins were picked up and the the floodwaters kept them from harvesting certain varieties so a lot of those were delayed from the first shipment we're going to try to get them on the first shipment this time around uh where there's five weekends in october and uh pumpkins spoil they're perishable they're a food i mean a lot of people use them to decorate but it is a food and they will rot pretty quickly especially if the weather stays warm and uh, say warm for a pumpkin <laughs> around this time of the year if it uh, unseasonably warm will make them spoil faster so uh, we're not going to have them the first weekend of October, but then uh, there's four other weekends in October, and we're going to try to have them all the way up until October 31st so that if you want a fresh pumpkin at the end of October to decorate with through the fall, you'll still be able to pick those up at the very end of the season. Good idea. Now, I know you don't have a physical address, but for, for those that maybe didn't get to see you last year, you're going to be on North 77th basically yep. behind the Chicken Express and the Aspen yep. Community Development, uh, North Grove, I believe they, they call that. North Center Grove, there. so, so three, your Three Rivers Coffee, your Branded Burger, your Salon 50, don't get me lying, it's something like that, or Studio, I, uh, I can't remember the name of the salon, but yeah, the, that place right there, uh, mm -hmm. in the, in a, and it's in an open lot, uh, right in front One of- One block off the highway one block off the highway yeah yep. absolutely you'll see uh, we'll have some orange flags up and uh hopefully some antique farm equipment from a generous gentleman that let us use it last year and uh we'll have to, hopefully we'll have some good experience for you and uh try to have some of the same food trucks out those are real popular some mm -hmm. people came by just to see the food truck i think that's awesome that you know that that those, those guys uh you know they, they have so much support here around here we don't have a lot of stuff like that so. yep 
Well, I, I'm sure you'll be creating an event on your page. Y'all go check out the Pumpkin Hatch Facebook page. Uh, yep. Lots of good information there. And then, you know, just uh, share with your fr friends and family and neighbors. You know, there's not a whole lot going on uh, this summer as far as with COVID and everything like that. Families are looking for things to do. What a great thing to uh, come out and interact with your community and, and that kind of stuff. So I think it's going to be an, another good year. So on that, uh, where I'm going to make a bigger footprint for accommodating people socially distancing uh, so that your family will be able to be in one area and get your pictures and everything. You don't have to worry about somebody else uh, being too close. And uh, we, have, we still have to be careful, especially with the vulnerable people in our community. Uh, it's going to be outside so you can stay plenty far distance away from people. You know, it's going to be, it's going to be a, a, an outdoor activity, so we don't have to worry about that. Very good. Well, we appreciate you taking time to, to talk with us today, and uh, we look forward to, to seeing the posts and, and seeing all the community coming out to the, uh, the Pumpkin Hatch uh, year two. Uh, just uh, sounds like it's going to be bigger and better than the first year. And, and, you know, the best way to make it bigger and better is the community coming out and getting involved. That, that's the key to it all there. So, Absolutely. We're going to try to do another movie night. We're going to try to do some things that were popular last year. So we're, we're looking forward to it. I think it'll be a great year. I think it'll have – we're expecting a lot larger turnout because of the unavailability of events in the fall. So, Right. Well, very good. Well, we will uh, certainly try and uh, circle back around with you. Uh, later in October and kind of see how things are going and, and uh, touch base with you. We wish you all the best. All right. Good to see you. Thank you. Y'all take care.